Okay, eeny meeny miny mo. Hoo hoo hoo. Hey everybody. Yeah. What you got going on? <laughs> Talk to me quick before I All right. Okay, so, you know, I got my little teenager stuff going on. Mm -hmm. So, um, the card I pulled was, it's okay to be lonely sometimes. Now and then, it's okay to be lonely. What you think about that, Kato? It's okay to be lonely sometimes. I'm being yeah. perfectly honest. I don't like being lonely. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I'm not sure what that mean by it's okay <laughs> to be lonely sometimes. What do you think that means? What does that mean? Tell me what it means. To be lonely sometimes. Um, you know. And I, I, I noticed the word says sometimes. Well, now and then. You, you know, know, when I was younger, mm -hmm. I think I probably felt lonely sometimes. But... Then I learned how to love being with myself, mm -hmm. you know, because I, I recognized when I was younger, I remember I was building a business in California and I filled my entire days. Like for two years, we worked seven days a week nonstop. You know, mm -hmm. we would work from, we were late starters. We might start working around 10, 11 after working out and stuff in the morning, meditating and everything. But then we'd go to about two, three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And this was seven years, I mean, seven days a week, two years straight. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I need a break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so then we started taking Sundays to ourselves. And initially, I felt lonely. And I felt a void. And what I realized mm -hmm. was that I filled my life with pe people and stuff. Mm -hmm. Things to do. Always busy, 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 24-7. Mm -hmm. um, and then when there was nothing to do, <laughs> no people around, that was a time when I actually had to reflect and look at myself. And, and so I did recognize that I did feel a little lonely. So I was like, you know, I really don't like this feeling. Mm -hmm. So I started working on enjoying Rory. Uh, because I, I, one thing that I observed about myself was I filled my life with people and stuff mm -hmm. because there was something about my life that I didn't like. And when I filled my life up, it made me not be able to see what it was that really needed to be worked on. Okay. So these Sundays were my time to be with me. And it may have taken maybe almost a year. Mm. to really enjoy my t my me time mm. on Sunday. And um, then I, I just really started to love being with me. Mm. And I used to take myself to a movie. Um, and that was my treat. That every Sunday, I would go to the movies with myself. Mm. And I had never done that before. You know, I have one of my best friends. She always used to go to the movies by herself when we were, you know, 20s. And I'd be like, you going to the movies by yourself? Why? But I ended up loving going to the movies mm. by myself and just enjoying the movie. And I love cinematography. So it was wonderful just watching everything that I observed in the movie in addition to the movie, mm. you know. Um, and, and then I just started love being with me. So when I'm with myself, I no longer felt lonely. So I don't feel that loneliness. Whether I have a mate or not, I don't really feel that loneliness anymore because I enjoy me. Okay. What about you? <laughs> First of all, okay. First of all, I think there's a difference between being alone and, and lonely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I think we all... Um, have to have our alone time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the whole lonely thing, like I said, and I said in the beginning, me personally, I don't like being lonely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I do need a long time, especially when I'm in my creative element. Right. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I think okay. everybody does. Right. But, you know, I, I, I sit back and as you're talking, I'm sitting back and I'm thinking of things and I'm remembering, you know, one of my favorite artists of all time, Frankie Beverly. Um, there's a song um, that he got out um, that I think applies to everyone. There's mm -hmm. a song he made called um, I Need to Feel Like I'm Wanted. I Need to Feel Like I'm Needed. I think every person needs that in their life. They have, you know, I don't know if you remember the songs. I want to feel that I'm wanted. 
Baby, I need to feel that I'm needed. Okay, I'll play it for you later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, and and um, so yeah. So me basically saying that is to say, even even you know even in the Bible in the in the very beginning when God created man, He said it's not good for man to be alone. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So He created him, gave him a partner. Mm -hmm. Um. And I think that's just a human nature. The whole movie thing I know all about. I mean, I can do. I can be in my creative element. It, when I was young too, there used to be a theater right down on. Um, during the time I was in high school, probably, what was that? It was down there by by Foggy Bottom, down there by George Washington University, mm. almost in Georgetown. But there was the little movie theater that played old movies. Mm -hmm. And I would go in there. I, I just would love to. I used to love to jump on the bus, and, and plus it was cheap. Like I, old old movies, or like the Dollar Theaters that just had movies that was a little old. Yeah, it was like the Dollar Theater oh, had okay. movies that were a little old, <laughs> but they could be a lot old too. Okay. In other words, there would be maybe more than one movie. So I would go there and I would see a movie called. I remember like, and it would be like a double feature all the time. One movie was called Rumble Fish, and that was the movie with Matt Dillon. And um, Mickey Rourke, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But then the same time, right after that, they showed the movie on the waterfront. I mean, not on the waterfront. <clears throat> that's Brando. But the James Dean movie. What was the name of that movie? Rebel Without a Cause. Okay. Which was like Rumblefish is probably like a new version trying to be like Rebel. So I was, in other words, I would see, and I would love. <clears throat> To, it was like nobody else I knew liked that kind of thing but me. Uh -huh. And I saw a lot of old movies that way. And, you know, movies that were older uh -huh. at the time. Um, and so I do understand that going to the movies <laughs> by yourself type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think we do need that. Especially when, you get, when you're talking couples. Uh -huh. Sometimes people... Uh, it's, I'm not one of those people. You got some time with people in couples where they'll say, man, my partner, oh my God, it's just getting on my nerve. Why don't you go do something? Golly. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You got some people like that. I'm not that type of couple. If we uh -huh. partners, we partners, man. Right, right. Let's do everything together. Um, so me personally, I don't like, but I don't like, if I'm, I like watching movies at home, right? Uh -huh. But it's more fun to watch them with somebody. Because, you know, it's just more fun, right. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You watching, you zone you, and, and you kind of get excited about that. And, and I think what people do, that's what, <laughs> what Facebook do. Facebook really curves loneliness for people. Mm -hmm. People don't understand mm -hmm. it, and they really criticize heavily on people. But when you see part a person posting a lot, mm -hmm. they may they may be lonely, or somebody that has somebody that talks. I right. know me living by myself, my kids are growing and stuff. I ain't got nobody to talk to. I might go post. Just to have somebody to talk mm -hmm. to, because I don't like being alone. And, interaction. and there's nothing negative about it, no matter how somebody try to make it seem. There's nothing negative. So about what it. is lonely? Because you had a point when you when you said it's a difference between being alone and feeling lonely. Yeah. What? When you're feeling lonely, you almost feeling isolated. Right. And okay. separated. See, when you're alone, you're not necessarily feeling separated. Right. I can be alone, and like I said, we can log on to Facebook, or I can call you or text you, or vice versa. Right, right. Or, in, or any of our other friends, you know. But when you feel lonely, it's almost like you feel isolated. A person can feel lonely in a room full of people. That's true. You know That's what I'm saying? That's so true. So, that I may... I may <laughs> disagree with. I understand it's a car, but I'm trying to... I guess I'm trying to figure out... I think it's okay to be alone, but to be lonely, man, people people do some devastating things when they feeling lonely. It, it, people that's do kind of like people, depressing, right? It's, a, it's, it, they, it's depressing. Uh huh. To, it, it's not good. I don't care anybody say, you know, it's not good to feel lonely. Right. Anybody. That's got to be the one of the worst things in the world. Right. Uh, the more I think about it, you know. So that's it my take. Sounds hopeless. On it. You can have it a couple. Like that, yeah. A man and woman can be a couple, and they feel lonely. That's true. And you know that relationship is done because how can you be in a relationship and you feel lonely? You should right. never, ever feel lonely if you're in a relationship. Right. You know. That um, means you're not getting what you what you need what from you need. each other. In the and as human beings, there are things that we need, and that's all. Um, 
I guess when we finish when we finish <laughs> doing this, I want you to hear. It. Right. Because it's a real it's a real tight popular song. Um it, it, it what he said, like he, when he talked to a woman, he said, Well, I toss and I turn and I yearn and I yearn and I don't know what to do. Try being by myself, don't want anybody else but you. All mm -hmm. I know is I want to feel that I'm want. Everybody loves to feel like they want it. Right, right. Everybody loves to feel like they need it. That mm -hmm. somebody needs them. Mm -hmm. Right. So, that's my take on it. <laughs> so have you ever been in a relationship where you felt like Yeah. Like you just weren't wanted like you felt like, Why am I in this? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I guess I have. I, I felt that too before. I've been in a relationship <laughs> where I felt the opposite as well. Look, well, that may have been a long time ago. You know, sometimes I think we we I think in life it, we've we've been we get in that kind of relationship at young ages, and the rest of our life is trying to find that what we had in that puppy love again that we probably would never find again. You think? Yeah, I I, I kind of believe if anybody can remember what their puppy love was like, unless they were dogged out by a cruddy person, I think, and I think I think puppy the puppy love era is what makes a person react the way they react. I think if a guy was a cruddy dude, dog chicks out, because his puppy love era was hurting for him, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. and, and vice versa. And puppy chicks. love, you mean like that infatuation period? Or no, what? Puppy, when you're young. And it's okay. new. The newness of yeah, a relationship. The whole newness of a relationship. And it's very new. Not just newness of a new relationship, but it's just very new of being on that, so that's why I say high school level. Mm -hmm. High school level, you you know, I remember high school, so we are, you know, you you share lockers and you <laughs> met and you met at a certain place at the school, maybe well whether it's under the stairs or out behind the bleachers <laughs> or well, I don't mean met for nothing like that, but just <laughs> met to have some alone time between classes. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That kind of thing. You know, uh -huh. I mean, you know, all that other stuff could be anywhere. But, you know, or you meet somewhere between class. You, I mean, did you not have them days in high school? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so, and, and, and to, I went under the bleachers, though. But I don't mean, I don't mean <laughs> meeting under the bleachers that way, but meeting at a private place. When I say under the stairs, it ain't under the stairs to do nothing. It's like I'm going to this class. With yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> 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 but I think. I think I think uh, at that beginning thing, the rest of people's life. I just my assumption that that's kind of what they want to see again. It's a certain feeling you had, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Some people do get it in life. I mean, there's some beautiful couple. You know, my, if anybody haven't seen the uh, my man uh, Black Boo, or some of y'all may know him, Alfred Duncan Black Boo from from uh, Mumbo Sauce. You know, he did the whole. <laughs> He got all y'all women out there mushy because he, you know, he married his, he he became engaged and got married to uh, his woman. In the same, in the same way or something, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You know. that was cool. That was yeah, that was real jack cool. But all the women got super mushy about it, like you know, expecting <laughs> all men to do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but that even the fact that women got mushy about it is an example of see. No matter how hard she tried to be, or thug life, or hard, whatever, that exterior shell, there's still a part of her that don't want to be alone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or alone, l lonely. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's my take on it. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. We good? That's it. We good. Yeah, All good. right. So. Well, thank y'all for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in once again. Be our friend. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, get this info and hit us up. You know how I go. Right. Oh, I thought you was going to rhyme to that one. I was going to. Yes. <laughs> Boy, I, I get on that rhyme wagon, you know. I ain't bragging, but I, my stuff don't be sagging. <laughs> I don't be lagging. Right. You ain't sagging today. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good have one. Have a blessed one. All right, peace. Peace out.